Hello everybody. Welcome back to another Hunyuan video 1.5. But this time, we will test the image to video and text to video distilled versions. The models have been released recently, so I decided to create a new workflow based on the stock template with my own customizations. Okay, let's have a look at the workflow. But, again, before I start my day with Comfy UI, I always check for updates. Make sure you do it at least once a day, as nodes are being updated for compatibility and performance, and are being rolled out all the time. Like today, even though I just did this last night, still lots of updates this morning. Let's have a look at the red node. Models can be directly downloaded from these links. You can have a look at available diffusion models at this HF model tree link, in case you might want to try some other models listed here. Most of you probably already have most of these files, as they are mostly the same as the regular Hunyuan Video 1.5 models. Down here, I have again included some prompts that I have used for testing the model. Some came from Hunyuan repo, the others from my old prompts on my PC. Many times, when I want to test image to video workflows, I use these prompts to create my input image with for example, Z image turbo. Up here are the regular loader nodes. I'm mostly skipping the multi GPU nodes for the time being until they have fixed the too many values to unpack error. Even though I have found a workaround, I will not use it unless a workflow really restricts me from running them on my 12 gigabytes card, because I will need to test my workflows several times with both the high VRAM and low VRAM PCs. I really don't want to exclude users with lower VRAM GPUs from using these workflows. GGUF loaders are included, but not tested. I will test both FP8 and FP16 versions of the models. I have included the force or set device nodes because I needed to test these models on my dual GPU settings as well. I can force them onto CPU, device zero or device one as needed because the default nodes don't have all options. You can just delete or bypass them. Down here is the group nodes of our image processing for image to video generation. I have also revised the workflow a bit from when I have recorded this video and it gives much better video output. You can find the link in the video description. Bypass this group for text to image gen. Here is the optimization part. I have now included a CFG zero star node for my experimentation. We'll probably use it from now on as well. You can read more about this node in their GitHub repo. Again, if you run into an error about the Triton thing, please bypass the Sage attention node. And we enter our prompt here. Wonder what it says? Hmm, me too. Anyways, again, since our CFG is set to one, we don't actually need the negative prompt, but it is there just in case. Here I have set up a switch for easy of use of the workflow when switching back and forth between text and image to video gen. True for text, false for image generation. The video resolution for both processes can be controlled from here, no need to change them in many places. We can also easily switch between portrait and landscape. I will set the FPS to 24 as recommended by the team. I have tried 16 FPS and the movements are not as good as expected. In this video, I will do a quick test of a two second video, which is 49 frames. The longer ones that I have tested are shown at the end of this video. As for VAE decoding with low VRAM, we can just switch from regular decoding to a tiled one easily by rewiring the connections. For the sampler settings, the suggested values are set accordingly as shown here for testing. CFG of 1, shift value of 5, and steps of 20 to 50 for T2V. Settings for an image to video gen is shown here. Ok, let's run the workflow. I will start with the T2V first, so I need to change the model. I will use this prompt to gen a 2 second clip. Loading of diffusion and clips are very fast. Even the text encoding is fast. 3 to 5 seconds on average per iteration for a 2 second video. 
Well, the results are not that bad. I like the dynamic camera movement. Now let's do an image to video run. I will use this image I generated with Z image earlier. Since I don't have the larger version downloaded, I will use the FP8 model and use this prompt. Hmm, model loading time not bad. Also, fast sampling time. Seems to me that VAE decoding would even take longer than sampling. Here we go. Yep, the model made her do a magic trick, not as I have instructed. Anyways, quality is very decent. Camera movement would have been more dynamic if the video length had been set to 5 seconds. And our final and surprised unexpected test. Did you know that the I2V model can also do a T2V generation? Let's try. There you go. It worked. Try it out by yourself. You might get some interesting results. So, the overall quality and performance are all up to everybody's standard. For me, I think the camera dynamics is much better than WAN models. Here are some of the tests I did earlier. Comment your findings or even problems. I will help find answers to my best ability. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If not, then leave a comment what you want changed. Thanks again for watching and have a good one.